Hey my little truffles, how y'all doing? It's your favorite girl, Kyla Black. Kama is a bad boy, y'all. Like Jason Lee deserves this on the hundred. He was out here dragging Nikki, talking down on Nikki, calling Nikki all sorts of names. Well, guess what? You're more classless than all the names you call Nikki. So y'all, it turns out Jason Lee has a blame tape circulating all over X and some of his minions are out there saying it ain't Jason Lee. Y'all go watch the video. It's Jason Lee 100% and I can guarantee y'all that. But word on the street is he's trying to use this to get the Kim Kardashian impact. But we ain't in 2007 where everyone's that gullible to fall for something this pathetic and humiliating. Jason Lee's classless and deserves worse than what he's getting. But y'all, I think it's high time he starts an OnlyFans account because he's out here looking for clout and money. So starting an OnlyFans will definitely be beneficial to him compared to trying to diss old sabotage Nikki and Pink Friday too. Y'all, I definitely think everyone out there who's trying to ruin Nikki or sabotage Nikki ends up getting karma one way or another. And here is what Jason Lee had to say reacting to the entire situation. So he posted this video. He was like, we did not come this far just to break down and lose now. I'm a winner. And I'm like, winning what? The only thing which you ended up losing in was trying to use Nikki for clout. How y'all feel about this tape? Let me know in the comment section below. Moving on to the industrial plastic bag, aka Floppy B. Like, when is she gonna stop using Nikki for clout? Honey, you're flopping. Nothing's moving. All the antics and PR stunts you're using keeps flopping. Everyone's literally paying you dust. Everyone's so focused in the energy, the positive energy and waves and momentum Pink Friday to making. So why are you out here riding on Nikki's wave like you always do? Like you're so obsessed. You keep saying you don't like Nikki, but you try everything to be like Nikki. So y'all know everyone, including Bill but is talking about Pink Friday 2 to the point of saying Pink Friday 2 is gonna be something no one expected and it's gonna be amazing then boom the floppy bees Barty gang out here talking about the fact that Nick is dedicating Pink Friday 2 to someone like floppy bee and I'm like hold up are y'all being delusional or what Nikki does not pay Nikki, Floppy B any attention. Talk less about writing an amazing and a historical and a timeless album like Pink Friday 2, which Nikki is so proud of to someone who is literally irrelevant and always using Nikki for clout because she got known, because she's in untalented, because she's incompetent. Like the list goes on of how worthless Floppy Bees is. Like, get off your high horse, honey. Stop being a hater. She wrote two albums just trying to write Pink Friday 2. And I think she's going to dedicate it to someone like Floppy B who hasn't written an album in a decade. And the last time she dropped an album, she had approximately 11 and plus writers on that album. Like, honey, you're too much of a classless human being for nikki to dedicate something to you how y'all feel about this let me know in the comment section below please like subscribe and do not forget to turn on your notification buttons so that i don't miss out on all the tea i'll be dropping because trust me honey it's definitely gonna be juicy and you will not want to miss out on it thank you Floppy B should stop being an attention seeker, trying to get Nikki's attention to destroy and sabotage Pink Friday 2. Why? Because Nikki will not give her the time of day.